Okay, so what we're looking at here is SoundPlant for the Mac, and it uses something called key maps to essentially map um, your keyboard to a particular sound file. Um, in this particular instance, we're going to be using an MP3 song, so any MP3, and I believe a couple of WAV files. But what we're going to do is essentially start here on um, our A key, and what I need to do is load and assign a song or sound effect to that. So the easiest way to do that is select on your key, in this case A. I'm going to go to Open Sound. I'm going to browse on my computer to where I've downloaded those songs, uh, in this case sounds. I'm going to load in a dog, and these are just MP3s. And you'll notice it labels and tags the key. For the S, we'll go ahead and just put in uh, the laughter. And just to keep things a little separated for the um, song, we're going to put on the right hand side under L. And I'll just grab one of these easy listening to uh, tracks here. Hit open. And in a few minutes, that song should populate in there. You can see the waveform. You also have different ways um, to restart, kill, mute. Um, I haven't really played with those. You can also pan left and right, adjust the volume, and of course you have a master volume, some other reverb uh, settings here. Most importantly, once you get your keys set, you'll need to save it. So save key map with sounds. Hit that. We'll call this theater test two. Hit save. Notice it's saving the um, tracks. And we'll take a look to where that goes here in a second. So if I hit A on my keyboard, I have dogs barking, S for laughter, L will cue up that song. And now I can hit dog, maybe hit some laughter. And of course, if you need to queue up other ones, you just continue to follow the same process. So, hopefully this works for you. Let me know.